Welcome back to our glorious knight's tale. The great rise of Gelderland. We're now a mighty king. King William the Stallion of Gelderland. And he's 57. I think his final years are now ahead of him. This could well be the final stream and recording of our Knight's Tale adventure. So we're just doing a one-shot life run. Uh, after this ends, what I'll be streaming on the Lenovo Legion Twitch and recording at the same time to upload onto my YouTube channel will be um, a Game of Thrones run. I haven't decided yet who I'm going to play as, but uh, stay tuned for that more in the coming weeks. Um, those also watching this on my YouTube channel will be starting a full new regular CK3 series. We'll be playing as Jeffrey the Hairy, who starts over here somewhere in Barcelona and doing an Iberian struggle run. That starts next week on the 26th. So lots of CK content coming. All right. Twitch chat have decided they want war and tournaments as we see if we can get enough gold to host a grand tournament for our finale of this great stallion. And I've decided that uh, it's time for an independence war. Maybe we can capture and ransom a load of the Emperor's uh, children and what have you. So let's just check. Are we at full strength? Yes, we are. Let's do it. Raise the army. Quickly go and call all my allies to war, including good old King Malcolm of Scotland. You've helped me out so many times, mate. You've got a luscious beard as well. Friends till the end. Petty King Longshanks of Munster. Ireland answers the call. Napoli. Bernica. Call them all in. No matter how big or small. My house member as well. All will answer the call. Can't, I can't go for mercenaries, though, because um, then we'd be spending money. And we don't want that now. And the main force we want to come and unite with us is Scotland. Yeah, everyone's coming to help. They're all down here already in another war. Um, where is... The Holy Roman Empire... Ca oh, my days. Is it actually there? Oh, you are kidding me. That's the capital of the Holy Roman Empire. <laughs> oh, it's going to give us the best chance of capturing them all because it's right next to us. Oh, I've gained additional taxes as well. Well done, Steward. Well, that's fantastic. And all their armies are in the south in another war that they've got against um, Lombardy. Oh, Duke Wealth. Thank you so much. The timing of this could not be better. It might be a small kingdom, but we are a mighty one. And we can take on even empires. That's it. Scotland, come to me, aid. Rest for the weary. Uh, sweaty, tired, and need of food. A long day of training with the troops coming to an end. As we search for a place to camp, we spot an old and abandoned castle in the distance. Puffing my chest. What's that? Uh, uh, what's that, rather? <laughs> Puffing my chest, I declare. That is where we will make our camp tonight. The sun is setting, and with every step towards the ruin, it looks more ominous. Before long, the soldiers are whispering about ghosts. Let's venture inside. I'm sure there's treasure to be found. In we go. Searching for the unknown. Darkness, dampness, and desolation reign inside the castle, and all traces of life are gone. Peering up decaying stairs, I spot what might be the remnants of lush tapestries and old paintings. Looking down spiral, spiraling steps, I see only darkness reaching far down into the ground underneath the castle. We must search the upper floors. There's a 67% chance we find 110 gold. Let's do it. We find treasure! Boom! Always worth exploring the castle. The deer of... Hardwick. Interesting. Game sighting for three years. Ooh, hunt success chance. Oh, I would love to do a hunt. Interesting. Nice. Finally. And we've already got strategist. We've already got gallant. So what serve the crown overseer. That's like our best option, really. Gold maintenance actually wouldn't be terrible. Yes, we'll go through that. Go 
There is a deer sighting. But can't afford it just yet. Let's take it. All my allies are coming. All that glitters. Um, he'll have no gold of mine. Gain's not feeling well for seven years. Uh, go on then. Give him some, give him some gold because if he's not feeling well, that really lowers his health. That's our murder plot to kill and avenge the count that killed my son. The glorious what? Uh-oh. My spy master approached me with sweat beading on his brow and a pale face. My lord, my humor has been unbalanced ever since I helped pack that gift for Count Uris. I fear the taint of gold has afflicted me as well. Damnations. Damn it. Rip what? One or two have asked them, um, why do I keep my sons in my armies? It's because I'm trying to make them really good knights. There is, of course, teeny tiny risk that they could die. I mean, I say teeny tiny. It's fairly big. You can't go to America, not in the base game. I'm pretty sure there's a mod, though, that adds in America. Or if there isn't one that's released already, there's definitely one in development. Boom. Valuable hostage captured. That's what I was hoping. It's a son. Can we ransom you? <gasps> For 443 gold. Is he gaining? No, he's bleeding gold right now. He's losing 8.5 gold a month right now. Um, so we want to ransom him straight away. Give us that gold. And I've gained another one, have I? Oh, you won't have any money for this one. We'll keep you then for a bit. <laughs> Ransom accepted. Boom! That's how you make some money. Yeah, I've got your, I've got your brother. Ransom. Oh, is it because you don't have any money? I'm going to keep you for now. You might be a useful hostage for later on. Right, well, we need to go break the armies of the Empire so we can claim independence. I think William will have done, even if we don't manage to get a, a tournament, uh, but hopefully we should do now. I think William's done rather well in his lifetime. Building up from a small little county to a duchy and then to a kingdom and then freeing himself from the yoke of the Holy Roman Empire. Well done. Well done. Good old fashioned mob rule. It's 41% chance that we managed to kill this guy. Let's, let's try it. Unleash the mob at him. For what? He is dead! Huzzah! Ah, uh, but I have been named as the murderer. It was... It was for vengeance. Oh, I've gained a rival. Oh my. Let's set my spy master back to disrupting any, any schemes against me. Oh no, peasants are rebelling. Where are the angry peasants? They're over here, that's fine. I'll go defeat them. The rest of you keep smushing the Holy Roman Empire, please. Which so far looks like we're doing rather well. Smush, smush, smush. Intrigue challenge. I'll look at this immediately. Creeping suspicion. There is something odd about my guest, Adelheild. Uh, but I cannot quite put my finger on it. Perhaps it's just my imagination running amok. Nevertheless, that ominous feeling is keeping me up at night. I'll look into this immediately. 85% chance. Right, that's the peasant revolt over. Negotiate release, weak hook, and I'll recruit you. Right, where be the Empire's armies? They're all down here. I could go and try and hit the Kingdom of Croatia, but we will. Ooh, attrition all the way there, damn. Oh. Best bet is to just conquer some other territory.
Oh, were you the one I've just... Oh, yeah, no, no, I knew it. She is a deviant. I was just recruiting him. Yeah, just go conquer more of their land around here. Oh, no, my chancellor's gone. That was my spy master. Damn it. You're pretty decent, though. In you go. Do a good job. We should have um, ticking war score, though, because we own the... We own the capital. Or we've conquered the capital. Beautiful. Useful. Get a weak hook on you. Oh wait, that you're on. Un, you're under me, are you? I was like, what? We've got to hit all this territory out here. There we go. Peckable household. Oh no, my daughter's got pneumonia. The crusader, the crusading queen. She wasn't quite the crusading queen, but she managed to set up over in Mallorca. Oh, no, that's not good. And you're pregnant as well. You're only 25. Come on, Princess Jocelyn. Live! Live! Your husband's beard is fantastic. Oh, he, he likes a bit of the whipping. Hey, I, I ain't here to kink shame. You do what you want to do. You do you. Thumping heart and burning thoughts. Oh, what's this? Sweet merciful God, please spare me from this plight. What is that pounding agony hammering my skull into bloody ribbons? This burning pulse thrumming with my veins to the beat of Satan's drum. I was fine. Then I was choking black vomit. A uh, choking black? Choking back vomit without warning. Then I was, ah, make it stop. Make it stop. Please make it stop. My mind? Uh-oh, there's an 80% chance that I just die. What? I will endure... Gain a load of stress. And I get that option because I'm stubborn. Or Surgeon Alexia. Oh, wow. I can't do that because my learning says. So actually, I, if I wasn't stubborn, I would be very likely just to die right now. Thumping heart. Am I having, am I having a heart attack? But I will endure. Mental break. Um, if you're still stressed in five years, you may suffer another mental break. Yeah, risk it. But I will bite my lip and try and stay focused. But we have independence. We are an independent kingdom. At last. It's a grand tour, but no, we want to do it. If anything, we want to do a grand tournament. But the thing is, we're going to need, we're going to need more money than that. If we plan the grand tournament, we're going to have it at our capital of Gelders. So we want, I want to do, we can't do the joust, unfortunately. Oh, do, have we, have we changed to, hang on, can, yeah, cancel. Have we changed to Dutch culture? No, we're English. Oh, is it the culture of the capital has to be? Probably the Dutch where you're hosting it has to be. We don't have any land that's English. Because we need to convert culture first. Which will take a very long time. Nine years. Yeah. That ain't gonna work. Um, have the English actually even learnt arch saddles, though? They have. Ah, oh, nuts. Unless I conquered some of England. Then it would, then it would work. <laughs> then we could do jousting, I think. It's getting more and more intricate. But we can have... Oh, we've got board games. If I, if I did that, if I did archery and then a duel. Uh, we could do horse racing. So 
So that would cost 600 odd. Then there's all these uh, these options here. So we need 1,185. So we still need some more gold. And that's before we add in others. Yes, discard my tournament plan. Do I still have his son in the dungeon that maybe I could ransom? Five gold, but he will over time gain his gold back perhaps, so we'll keep him in the dungeon for now. You're worth 10 gold. Off you go. Happy days. Um, I do need to make sure I'm not stressed anymore. Because otherwise that's going to be a little problematic. But again, can't spend any gold. Um... Will the Pope give me claim on I have to sway you some more, I think. It's of a lower rank than me. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, I just want I just want Suffolk. Give me Suffolk. You could take the whole duchy, but yeah, give me Suffolk. Only minus nine. In which case, all I really need to try and do then is sway the Pope a bit. I'm already oh I'm already trying to improve his opinion with a sway. Okay, well we've got to wait we've got to wait for some more gold to come on come on in. So let's see if we can improve relations a bit. We're currently at forty two. Could send you a gift, but that's a lot of gold. I could offer you a ward, though, couldn't I? My granddaughter? Thank you, King Henry. Mm, we'll only improve relations. Oh, no, he will gain 15 opinion of me. Nice. Send proposal. Yeah, mom. No, it, it did not add any more. But I think maybe over time we'll give it. We'll give it a little little while. We'll just keep checking on our health right now. He's not swayed. Oh, nice. Jocelyn recovered from pneumonia. Wonderful. And you've had John Thatcher. Wonderful. No! William's love has perished. His glorious wife, Alexia, the transcriber of Gelderland, has passed. Oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna get stressed again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I can ransom this kid. this kid. Ransom. I'm not employing a court physician anymore. Yeah, I know I need a new one. Because that was my wife. Oh no. There is a deer sighting. Yes, yes, I know. Um, give me more taxes. No, more levy. Boom. Guess we'll have to find another. Let's find some of all skills. You are. Oh, wow. Look at your marshal. A marshal lass. Oh, whoa. Look at you. Look at your prowess as well, Martha Newley. Oh my, you're strong, athletic. I think so. Could hold a grand wedding. But we've already done that, so let's get hitched.
frozen grief. Uh oh. Moderate penalty to health. That's not good. I could I could drink. Um iconic. Uh, drunkard drunkard's not not what I want. Uh that's a moderate penalty to health. So it's got I've got to become a drunkard. I've got to take to the drink. Because otherwise the moderate penalty is going to hurt. And then I feel from a role play perspective, William would probably go Frozen Grief. So Frozen Grief it is. A claim on Luxembourg. Lies and more lies. Randall's taken prisoner. Oh no, of Scotland. What's going on? Oh, the Suthraya. The Vikings still be going on. Right. Um, have we made it so the Pope likes us more yet? Ooh, a little bit more. Yeah. Can we go for Suffolk yet? <laughs> Minus three. Come on. Come on, Mr. Pope. I know you like me, really. Three more months. He is not swayed. Getting stuck in. Never back down from a challenge yet. Never back down from a challenge, love. Oh, and there's a war. Scottish war. I'll say accept, but I'm, I don't think I'm actually going to do anything. I think I'm just going to say I'm, I'm, I'm joining your war. How much would it be to sway the Pope? I wish I could, could I give you less gold? Honestly, that'd be that'd be great right about now. Uh, I could pay that for indulgence for my sins, but it's even more gold than just gifting to him. Chaos of battle. Meet the assault head on, or withdraw for a moment. Meet the assault head on. Come on, sway the Pope, sway the Pope. Make the Pope like us a little bit more. Grandson was taken prisoner. Oh no. Oh no, Jocelyn, you're one. Oh, it's not going well for you, love. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh no. Oh, you're part of the Iberian sh um, struggle. You're an interloper character in the struggle. Mm hmm. That's what we'll be doing in our next campaign. Oh my days. Living a child. Princess Guinevere's been murdered. No! Gwen! Murdered by Petty Queen Wolfhild of Connaught. You're on the list. For why? She was with child. Oh, well, this means war. I'm overwhelmed by stress again. Great. It's gonna get murdered. Right, Pope, come on. Be my friend, Mr. Pope. <gasps> no! Percival! I was saying earlier, it's like, there's only a teeny tiny chance they'll get slain in battle. It seems like there's a very much bigger chance of being slain. Percival, no, my son and heir. <laughs> For why? This has not gone well at all. The sons are dropping like flies. My brave son, you'll not get away with this. Yes, you're getting pinned. You're on the you're on the murder list as well. Oh no, I'm gonna have a mental breakdown and just die at this point. I need to be careful. I mean, I've got enough gold now. I think I feel like I may need to do uh, go for a hunt to avoid getting really, really stressed out, though, because I am mahusively stressed and will end up just dying. So I think we're going to have to go for that hunt. There was the sighting, though, wasn't it? A 
if we lost the sighting. There's boar sighting over here. High development. No holding. Oh, it was in, it was in that forest, actually, wasn't it? There's high development. That one's got a load of positives. That one's got high development as well. So let's go, let's go for that one. I'll go with all those. Start the hunt and try and reduce some stress. Right, also, my new son and heir is... Oh, Percival Thatcher. Oh, my grandson. Oh, so it goes over to him, not my... Ah... Not onto my next son, because he obviously he's got heirs. I was wondering if it was going to go to Lenovo. I'm going to tell you not to fight now, because I'm not sure I want to lose all my sons and heirs. Yes, no fighting for you. The rest of you can all fight. Oh, yeah, it goes through Percival's sons. So there's still another Percival, actually. Percival Thatcher. He's just not of age yet. A hunt. A fresh start. Off we go. The Metal Man. Uh, consider the armor gone for a price. Yeah, we'll take his armor. Thank you. Let me just put it back up now. So we're off on a hunt. We're here. Huzzah. Success chance 59.5% chance. Good. And yeah, we want this for recreation. Uh, seek the boar. It's perilous. But prestige is impressive. A wolf? Fox, no. Let's get out there for the boar. Risk it all. We never made it to the final grand tournament. William died hunting a boar. What's this? The noise of the others has faded as my knight uh, Wolfer and I stalk up on the boar. We are almost within striking distance when Wolfer whispers that we're finally alone. There is something I must tell you about Prince Lenovo. Talk later, knight. Yeah, talk later, knight. Not right now. Success chance of 66.5%. My vassal, Mayor Bertold, is the first to spot the sh its sharpened tusks. The powerful boar is hard to distinguish, but there's no doubt uh, it's there, observing us through the leafy uh, bushes. It locks eyes uh, with me, and almost as though the animal senses my intent, suddenly takes off in a flash of dark fur. After it, we ride! The method is more perilous. Steady mind the bank. This way we head it off. We ride. Success and glory. Like all game, the slippery boar has many tricks, blenches, and ruses that can fool even the most experienced hunters. My knight, um, Sobislav, has halted the party. The boar has been standing perfectly still in the tall grass, unflinching, getting behind us, even under the dog's noses. There is no agreement over which course to follow, and each moment we tarry puts us further from our prize. Patience. This should be easy to solve. So I've got a 41% chance that our success chance increases greatly, a 41% chance that it, our success chance increases, and a 16% chance that it decreases. I'm going to go for because I've got the hunter skill. So let's go for that. Success chance increases. 80% success chance. Come on. Get our pikes ready. After hours of riding, we finally cornered the wily beast. Our chase has not been in vain. The exhausted, panicked animal has turned to bay, struggling to stand and squealing in panic. The proud boar squeals terribly. Sharpened tusks ready to cleave in twain any who approach, uh, as it is surrounded by sheepish hounds and huntsmen. I'll bring it down myself. There's a 9% chance that I die. An 18% chance that I'm seriously injured, but a 72% chance that I slay the beast, or spears ready and forward. Mm, 46% chance that someone is wounded. And a 15% chance that someone random is killed. Or unleash the hounds. No, I'll bring it down myself. This is the risk I must take. I slay the boar! I heft my spear and cautiously move towards the exhausted animal. I choose my moment carefully, plunging my blade deep into its heart. <laughs> Take that. Yes, you better clap, mate. We have had a victorious hunt. Has a... Oh, and I found some raptor eggs. Oh, look at that. A black boar skull. Fantastic. 
fantastic. Oh my. Mount its head, my guest will see its majesty. Or oh, my son-in-law, King Malcolm, will appreciate it. So I can send it to Malcolm. No, 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 no. I'm keeping it for myself. Thank you. Bada bing, bada boom. Finish the hunt. Oh my. That dropped a load of stress. I am still a little bit stressed, but that was great. Good thing we went on a on a hunt when our son was slain in battle. Um, right, let me just go to my royal court, because that definitely needs to go up on the wall. Bada bing, bada boom. Mm, let me just pop it back on there for now. Lovely. Lovely. How's that wall going? Okay for now. Arrival. Thank God I can go inside again. Good. Good, good, good. Does the Pope like me enough to get this? Yeah. Yes! Boom. Give me Suffolk. Which is English. Let's hope we can then host a grand tournament over there. Bada bing, bada boom. First in line to inherit Nepali. Oh, nice. Holiday o'clock. Heresy. Right, so if I went to war with you for that, how strong is England right now? Hmm. Stronger than me. Ah, they got Eric of Sweden. In that, they have many alliances. Oh, it's your wife. I can murder you, though, rather successfully. So we'll do that. Once we have finished this murder scheme for vengeance on my daughter and then vengeance on my son. A lot of murdering. Someone was saying um, the other day, Lionheart, you've been very good in this campaign. You've not done much murdering at all. And then this episode happened. To the murder forest! Goodbye. Right. Now to take out the Queen of England. Because then they won't have the alliance between England and Sweden anymore. The war will be won. And then we'll celebrate with a grand tournament. I should probably help out Scotland, though. He's getting a wee bit thrashed. And you have helped me out wonderfully. It's even if I raise my army, I can't defeat what they've got over there now. I have to hope that this... is enough to shatter England. If not, we'll have to look for another alliance that we can get. Join the Grand Tournament. Oh, no, I've got other stuff I need to be doing right now. A toast to the Queen's health. Oh no, she looked thirsty. Right, row, what a terrible shame. And now if we go in here. <laughs> you're still stronger than me, apparently. I need more allies. Okay, who needs Oh no 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 Oh wait the betrothal that won't work because the betrothal won't come of age I don't know if there is anyone I can marry off. 
Arrange a marriage. Alliance power? I don't think we're going to get any, are we? It's, that's all arranging marriages within our household. That's because Scotland's lost its strength. The only other thing would be to spend some money on a... On some mercenaries. I don't think I've got any direct characters. They have to be mine, don't they? To get an alliance. I've got grandchildren, but that won't work. It needs to be a son of mine. Rats. England seems powerful. But our troops recover a little bit. Strange noise. Oh, it's a birthday party! What a surprise when my nearest and dearest friends have come together to wish me well as I begin the next year of my life. The entire table laden with treatments, my favourite. Here I was thinking that everyone had forgotten about me. Wonderful! I'll take the biggest one, a large gift. I've been given a birthday mace! Oh, wonderful! Is it better than what I've currently got? I don't even have anything! Birthday mace! Wonderful. Oh, isn't that lovely? I'll let our troops recover a bit. Oh, no, I think Scotland just lost the war. Yeah. They should now start recovering. And they can help us against England. So we just got to wait. Please don't die. Got enough of the tournament, so that's good. We've nearly caught oh another one a peasant uprising. Surely you can handle that, mate. Ah, son of a biscuit. I can't actually deal with that. You you're gonna be knocked out of that. Yeah, I can't I can't do that one. If only I'd married for alliance. I can request a divorce. Do it. Sorry. Oh, don't, don't, no, don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. Oh, no. I can become irritable again. High blood pressure. Oh, no. Stop firing all these events. Um, yes, fine. Right, I've done that because I want to get married to someone that's going to give me a really big alliance. Ah, oh, hungry, you are strong, but I'm hoping so maybe some a bit close. Castile, yes, you're nice and big. And I mean, hungry isn't that far away, but they got a bit more to travel. Castile, yeah, that could work. France. A bit fragile, though. Mercia, you're under England, so you won't be able to rise up against them. So we will go. We'll go for Castile. Let's do it. Thank you, Sancho. It's time to declare glorious war. So we can hopefully host our tournament on English soil, which should mean... Should mean we can then... Host a tournament with jousting. 
This is our quest right now, to have William do a joust. Get through all these events right now. Perfect, my troops are now cheaper to upkeep. Come on, Castile. Into the sea. Wait, hang on. Who was next on my murder list? You. Oh, no, you're dead. Drank yourself to death. That's unfortunate. This guy. You killed Percival. Little bribe. A bit of a bribe there. Come on, Sancho. Here we go. Wait for the embarkation penalty to end. And then we strike. Sancho, I need you to come to me, aid. Here we go. Three, two. Catch the army first. Come on. I will lead. I will lead the army myself. Fight! It's, it's me versus uh, Richard the Brave of England. King versus king. How it should be. And then we'll celebrate with a merry tawny. Oh no, Godfrey of Holland. That's fine, because he was causing me some trouble before. I'm not going to get too upset by losing him. Just keep conquering. Just keep conquering. You're not afraid of spiders, mate. This is for Percival. Well done, spider. I've reduced my stress level. Wonderful. Taxation tour. Oh, wow. Come on. Get the conquest done. Shatter the English army again. And we should see victory. That's it. Come on. Chase them. Yet yeah, employ both strategies. Eighty-eight percent. I'll go hit London. It's not the capital. That's fine. There we go. War is done. Enforce demands. Bada bing, bada boom. Ips 
switch is now mine. I should be able to disband dissolution war. Oh, we're, we're part of that, aren't we? Rut row. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to wait for that to end because I can't do anything about that. Can I now, though, host? Go through this. It's fine. Can I now host Grand Tournament? Oh, I'm in an army. Okay. Bear with. Swap out of the army into you, sir. Can I now plan one over here? Oh, discount militia camp suitable terrain. Boom. We can get the joust. Okay, let's get the joust in there. Yes, finally. Finally, after all this time, William can joust. And we'll have a melee. And do we want a jewel? Yeah, let's do a jewel. I'm just going to have those. Three. We could do loads more, but it's going to cost way more. So let's just do those three. Oh, it's the melee. Uh, no, you know, no, you know, we won't do the jewel. We'll just do, we'll just do two. Can I participate, participate? Can I even cancel that one once I've done it? Quit, quit activity plan. Let's do it again. Here we go. That one. Joust. And melee. Yeah, boom. Just those two. It's not as expensive. Then we can have better better modifiers. And that's, that is what William did in the film. Uh, the melee and the jazz. Although he did dueling, but it's fine. We'll do the melee. So participate in the conquest, in the, in the contest and participate in the conquest. Conquest. Hold on. Participate in the, in the contest and participate in the contest. I can do words. Nice. Right. Grand tournament. Pull out. Eh, oh, we cannot afford the splendid prizes. If we do that one. No, we still can't afford it. Good prizes. Let's do good prizes. I'll be taking part. I want to triumph. Start the Grand Tawny. Cannot wait. Look at us go. Off we go. In his ripe old age of 66, his last great tawny. Uh, we don't want to go for anything that's uh, stressful, so let's investigate. I'll help you to shore. open soon. Tournament arrival. Can't wait to start. Um, Theo, if you could speak in English, that'd be great. Right, let's go to the tawny grounds. Gold's the big sensation. Squires laugh and joke. He's been greatly praised. One of the, one of the potential victors. A skillful man deserves a skillful liege or no liege at all. Yeah. He has joined my court. Huzzah! You're currently guaranteed to qualify. Boom. 92 other contestants. We're waiting for the joust to begin. Can't wait to find out what the what the reward will be. Hopefully we can win. I've actually not seen a joust event yet in the game since this DLC added it in, so I'm quite keen to see what this what it's like. Um, I could go to, let's go to the, do we meet again? Oh, my ward's left, yeah. Both the ring gear. Does 
Okay, improve my mace. Call myself or become superstitious. Mm. Show me expert technique. Let's do that. Your score increases moderately. Wonderful. We meet again, Lenora. The joust begins. Here we go. Contestants circle the lists on horseback. Uh, valets holding their arms aloft as the herald announces the con uh, contest's commencement. Squires scurry to and fro, bedecked in their liege's colours, carrying equipment and supplies for the bouts ahead. Uh, the joust qualifiers have come to an end and it's clear who will be put forward for the quarterfinals as it stands. The varied pitches and volumes, the crowd's cheers leave no question as to the favourites. My first bout, I have been paired against my fellow contestant, Earl Falk of Berkshire. I am ready. I have a bet to place. Yeah, sure. I'll place a bet on myself. My opponent Falk's forearm lolls ineffectively as he takes his stance. A grimace turns into a stifled gasp of pain as he attempts to lift his lance. Clearly the last round has taken a severe toll. I watch with some wonderment as Falk's valet uh, heaves the lance into position, strapping it to his upper arm. It appears the need to demonstrate uh, their honour leads my adversary to continue to compete, but there is no hope of them winning. I salute with my own lance in response as the crowd cheers us both. It would be disrespectful to do anything but my best. Yep. Honor shown deserves honor in equal measure. A perfect opportunity greatly increases. You sweep your, la your lance in a long arc, guaranteed to knock your opponent from the saddle. Perfect opportunity. Why waste it? The banners flicker and flap in the breeze, stealing away the crowd's breath for a moment as I curb my horse. I hoist my lance as the previous events of the contest play back through my mind, like my no uh, like when my noble opponent attempted to tilt despite a grave wound. I am on top, but there's still another tilt left. All I need is to draw this last pass. Maybe if I hit them in their head, 67% chance to increase my score. So we've got a 69% chance of victory. Aim high go low 59 percent chance i think i saw a tell in a prior pass 41 percent chance or no trickery just aim for the shield aim for the head victory first the sound of the crash then isn't later a shuddering jolt up my arm then suddenly another sound of the crowd's acclaim my lance strikes home with force shattering my adversary's shield even more notably they have missed entirely we reset at last uh reset a last time and my horse thunders towards falk i have a good feeling about it my lance catches him full in the chest throwing him to the ground in a shower of splinters as my horse continues on the judges call an end i have won Seven contestants remaining. Victory! I'm doing well. Semi-finals. Quarterfinals are over. Herald's boom. King William of Gelderland. Earl Bertrand of Wiltshire. Count Lothair of Jalons and Coel have researched the semi have researched have reached the semi-finals. I can I swear I can speak. Uh and Kyle, I've reached the semi-finals. Uh, my next bout will be against my fellow contestant, Earl Bertrain. I don't know why it says your fellow contestant, as, as, as if it would be anybody else, right? I can do this. Thunk, a sonorous crash of wood against wood signals my aim to be true, and the force behind it is such that Bertrand reels um, precipitously before crashing to the ground. I curb my horse at the end of the run and peer down at my adversary. Uh, Bertrand hauls himself to an upright position, seemingly just winded rather than injured, but his shield lies rent in two on the ground near him. He regards it sorrowfully as the valet collects the pieces, adding them to a small pile I recognise as being his primary and presumably only other shield. Are you hurt? Let's get you upright. Increase his score slightly. 
Um, right, joust, full tilt. The banners flicker and flap in the breeze, stealing away the crowd's breath for a moment. As I curb my horse, I hoist my lance. As the previous events of the contest play back through my mind, you've had that before. I'm on top, but there's still another tilt left. All I need to do is draw the last pass. Maybe if I go for the head, is that going to still be the highest chance? Yep, aim for the head. I think we've got another victory. Yes! Yes, William! Yes! I mean, my lord Ulrich. <laughs> Beautiful. So, we have the semi finals. And this guy is through to the final. Okay. So, here we go. I can do this. I can do this. I've got a 75% chance of victory. The mighty log. Placed up. Giant weapon is less a lance um, of wood and more an uprooted tree trunk. A colossal shaft as long as two men. I watch in disbelief as he smugly hefts it, leaning it against the horse's neck for steadiness. The crowd voices rumbles uh, with a mix of anticipation and injustice. Mixed voices arguing to let it go or protesting unfairness. Come on out. Are you sure this is how you want to win? Yes, do it. That overgrown sapling won't save you from me. Overcome your disadvantage. Here we go. Hit him in the head. Aim high. Go low. Go for the head. Yes! Victory! I have won the joust! I watch as the tip of my lance nears, nears, and misses my opponent's shield. An instant later, I am rocked backwards in my saddle. A lance splintering as my own shield. The crowd's roared a curse to my ears. What? We said last time as my horse thunders towards Seol. Uh, Seol, or Coel, rather. And I have a good feeling about this tilt. My lance strikes true straight into his shield with a deafening crash and explosion of splinters as his own fly past me. That's all the points I need. The judges call an end. I have won. Oh, thank God. I thought we'd lost there. Victory. I am the contest winner! Yes! Trumpet sound, crowds, clamours, competitors begin to assemble. The contest is over and someone's moment in the sun is being readied. A herald steps forward with a voice booming out across the scene. After many trials, some tribulations and above all else, some truly spirited competition, King William beat uh, Coel in the final. William is the winner. Huzzah! I won. I actually won. I'm a tournament jouster for five years. I will see a prize when the tournament concludes. Boom. Oh, I kind of want to just end it now. I'm like, I don't want to do the melee. <laughs> yeah, let's just speed through it now. Oh, well, this, this run is done now then, surely. William at last has won. The tale of losing all those melees and battles. Uh oh, I will not be threatened. We'll wait for no man. Um, I can manage things from here. Yeah, manage things from here. Rally the troops. Um, I've got to close this for now. These three are mine. Single handedly triumph over all of them. Mm -mm. Now, have at them. Right. Hopefully, I can call in my ally, though. The father of Spain. Boom. That should be more than enough, right? Yeah. If Sancho comes to my aid, we're fine. The high ground. Oh, what's this? Because I'm gallant. Yeah. Execute so called builders. Sloppy standards. Oh no. Execute builders for five years. Oh no. The stands have collapsed while everyone rushed in to see it.
We win a soldier's victory. The final blow is one more push. Are we going to win both? That'd be fabulous. Here we go. Ceremony's here. Let's see if we can win this war against Rebellion and secure Gelderland's future. Yep. We won. We won the melee as well. The king is unbeatable. Melee victor for five years. Boom. Um, the conclusion. What a great occasion. And I have gained a prized hammer. Plus eight prowess. <gasps> and a famed dagger. Wonderful. What a great occasion. Oh, we got an achievement there. The very best. Finish any track in the Hastaluda line. Is that there? Where's that gone? The very best. Yes. Finish any track in the Hastaluda line. That must be... I mean, we can take a look at that in a sec. Um, I forget where it actually is. On Here we go. Here we finished horse. Very apt for our character. Nice. And monthly renown plus 5%. Beautiful. Finish the grand tournament. A mighty tale. A knight's tale. But before we can celebrate the great life of William Thatcher, we must win this war. We cannot leave the kingdom in strife. Back home once again. You guys go up there. Sancho coming. He says he was coming. Oh yeah, there he is. Let's get through it. That one. Right, where's their armies? Oh, yeah, they're hitting us at Gelderland itself. So let's go break them all there. Beautiful. They are shattered. Let's go hit their capitals to finish them off and then face their armies once again. A man can change his stars after all, indeed. A man can change his stars. In fact, thank you, Argador. I think that might be the uh, the title of this uh, this final of this finale episode. And man can change his stars. Hit that one and we should win. Curse undone. Good. My rival is gone. Victory. Enforce demands. Beautiful. There we have it. Another grand tour is available. Got loads of prisons that can be ransomed. Let's just go to here and mass ransom. Yep. That's all our provinces, but. I don't think we do. I think we'll just leave it there. We've done. We're, he's at 69 years of age. He's lived a long and fruitful life and become master of the tournament with his final great act. His final great adventure. A grand tournament. He won the joust and, and the melee. Tournament champion. A great Thatcher dynasty. 
So this is where we will bring an end our knight's tale. I hope you've enjoyed the adventures of William Thatcher from lowly count to duke and then to king and then independent king. Got rid of the throes of the Holy Roman Empire and celebrated with a, a quick return home to England. A little bit of conquest so that he could uh, hold a tournament including a joust. If you've watched this on YouTube, I hope you've enjoyed. There'll be a full new Crusader King series starting uh, from the 26th of June onwards. Uh, I'll be streaming it uh, over on my Twitch channel, recording at the same time and then uploading to YouTube. I don't yet know if the first episode will make it out on the 26th of June or whether it'll most likely go out on Tuesday the 27th. So stay tuned for that, but there'll be regular uploads of it every single week. Until the next one, take care and ciao for now.